Uh, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Mr. Reynoso, and our lesson today is going to be on Soccer 101. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is learning the proper techniques on kicking, passing the soccer ball, and also shooting the soccer ball. Uh, does anybody in the class have any experience with soccer, with sports in general? Okay. Lily, what's your experience? Um, I usually, like, is it what sport? A any sports. Taekwondo. Taekwondo, awesome. Anybody else? Has anybody played soccer specifically? Darby, where have you played at? I played high school soccer at uh, Del Oro High School. Nice, nice. Now is that Marcy? Yes, varsity soccer. Awesome. So it's good we have somebody with experience in the class who could uh, pretty much act as a mentor when I'm going to be going around doing our demonstrations uh, later on in the lesson plan. But basically what we want to do today, uh, our main goal for the lesson is to demonstrate the proper techniques involved in passing and shooting the soccer ball. Um, now we're not going to go too in depth in general in learning these techniques. What we're going to do is just the basic passing techniques, the methods um, that go along with that because in soccer that's what we're going to be doing. You're going to be passing and moving off the ball primarily the whole game. So we're going to go over the basics of passing and then we're going to be doing some shooting. And then we want to do the proper techniques that are involved in shooting the ball. Um, like my pitcher, I'm not the greatest artist, but uh, one specific is shooting the ball with your laces down. Um, our objectives for this lesson, we are going to recognize the techniques that we're going to go over in the lesson plan. We're going to learn some communication that's involved in the game of soccer and with these specific um, drills. And we're also going to learn about proper technique that is used prior to passing and shooting or just involved in the game alone. Okay, now before we start, does anybody have any questions? How far is the walk to the court? The walk to the field, it all depends. Um, it all depends on where your field is at, at your school or at your park. So it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to cater to some of my responses. Because we have some kids that are uh, visiting us from elementary school all the way up to high school, um, bear with me because some of the terminology might be basic for uh, Darby, who's been in high school soccer, um, that some of our elementary kids they might not know. Okay, um, so the first thing I want to do, I brought a cleat just so you guys see, um, is describe some of the techniques that we're going to use. And the first uh, technique we're going to use is just kicking with the inside of your foot. This is a cleat, I'm sorry. Um, basically, as you get better, as you progress um, over the lesson, over your amount of time, your experience playing soccer, you're going to start kicking the ball with the inside of your foot and then you're going to go actually towards the end if you want to go for a longer distance. Um, and then when we go into shooting, you want to have your laces down. There's a couple different reasons. Um, as you get better, you are going to be able to put some movement on the ball. Uh, you're going to be able to put some dip on the ball, put some spin on the ball. Um, but for today, we're just going to learn the basics that are involved with, the, uh, with passing and shooting. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and introduce you to a little video I have. This is uh, relating to some methods of kicking. And you guys will be able to see some of the techniques on video, okay? So if I can get everybody to come in closer, we'll go ahead and have a look at the video. And then after that, we'll go ahead and, and move to the field. Before we go, is there any questions? No? Okay. Here we go. Let me go ahead and get the lights. Because passing really is the most important skill in the game. If you cannot play an accurate pass consistently, then you're never going to be a good player. And this game is about passing and moving. So it's about having a good first touch, receiving the ball well, and then playing nice, crisp passes. So a couple things to help you pass better. Okay, I got my friend Marco here. He's going to help me demonstrate. And I'll play a couple passes from this side, and then I'll go to the other side so you can get a better view of what I'm doing. 
But a couple things. If we're playing with the inside of our foot, it can pass the ball in all different ways. With the outside, with the inside, with the laces, even with your toe, with your sole, whatever you want. Just make sure that when you're passing, I want you to get your body over the ball. Okay? If my body's over the ball when I play a pass, I have a much better chance of keeping the ball on the ground and going towards my target. Put the ball back. Okay, especially if I'm playing one touch passes. I really need to get my body over the ball. So play me the ball back, Marco. Okay, so when you're playing right foot, left foot, get your body over the ball. Next thing is I want you to step through to your target. Okay, so if my target is right there, my follow through should boom, land there. And as you can see, my foot is really nice and open. Okay, I'm making good contact. Center of my foot right here. Making flush contact with the center of the ball. Step. Okay. I'm going to go to the end now. Okay, you guys, that was a video. Hopefully you guys got a uh, better idea of some of the techniques that were on the YouTube video um, that we'll also be incorporating when we go out to the field. But the first question I want to ask you is, does anybody know the most important thing that you do prior to uh, practicing or prior to playing in a game? Jordan. Would it be stretching? Stretching. Awesome. Uh, so what we're going to do first is do a little warm-up. Why do we do the warm-up? Does anybody know why we do a warm-up? Um, so you can practice on getting, you can get stronger. That is part of the answer, yes. So what we do, why we warm up is we got to get the blood going. we got to get the oxygen flowing in your body. Uh, we got to get the muscles stretched and warm up. Otherwise, if you don't do so, you put yourself in harm's way. I mean, it's a lot easier to um, pull a muscle, a lot easier to strain uh, muscles, which will keep you out of your sport for anywhere from you know a couple days to a long period of time. So what we want to do first is warm up. Get our body ready, ready to go out there and perform so you can perform your best. So what we do uh, is we go ahead and get those that blood flowing by jumping jacks, um, we go ahead and do some jogging, um, some light stretching. You don't want to overdo it before the game, but you definitely want to get some stretching in to get warmed up. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and go out to the field, get a little warm up, then we're going to break into some activities. Since Darby is our uh, most experienced, I want to pair him up with someone who doesn't have that much experience um, so it can help me out and so it can help uh, Carson out, who is our youngest student um, at Kitty Garden. Then someone like uh, Jordan, who has a little bit of experience, we could pair him up uh, with Lily, and then I will go ahead and pair up with the uh, with the leftover. Okay. So before we go out to the field, does anybody have any questions? Do we got uh, an idea of what we're going to be doing and what's expected of you guys? No. Okay. Let's head to the field. Okay, you guys, so now we're out on the soccer field. The first thing that we want to do prior to doing any kind of drills, any kind of game playing is warm up. A proper warm up is very important. It's all about safety, okay, you guys? So we want to just get the body going, get our, butt, get our blood flowing, get the oxygen moving around in our bodies and get some stretching. Like I mentioned before, that way when we go ahead and do our activities, our demonstrations, our drills today, we're not gonna be putting ourselves in jeopardy of straining any muscles, okay? So the first thing we're gonna to do today is just some easy, light jumping jacks. Does everybody know what a jumping jack is? I know our older students do, but for our elementary kids, do we know? Okay? You do? Okay, so we're just gonna go up, down, okay? So we're gonna do a set of 15, we're gonna do three sets of 15, and then we're gonna move on to the next one. We usually wanna give ourselves about 10 or 15 minutes of a good warm up to get that blood flowing, okay? So let's start with some jumping jacks. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Our next uh, warm up is gonna do a light jog. We're gonna do a light jog from cone to cone. Uh, you can extend this back as far as you want. You could do uh, a jog at your own pace. What we usually do is like go a light jog and then we'll go into a sprint. But for right now, Let's just try and go as a line. Let's go on the count of three. You guys follow me and we'll go to the other side. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, 
The last thing we want to do in a proper warm up is get our stretching on. So right now we're going to go ahead and stretch our quads. What you guys want to do is go ahead and grab the back of your leg and feel that muscle stretch, okay? We're going to do our quads. We're going to do our hamstrings where we spread our legs out, try and touch our toes. And then when we're done with that, we're going to put one leg in front of the other and we're going to stretch our calves. All right? These are all things you want to incorporate prior to doing any kind of drills, any kind of games, okay? And why do we do it? To get our blood flowing. To get our blood flowing. That's awesome. You know another good way to get your blood flowing? Is just shake it out, okay? All right, you guys. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and jump into our first drill. So if I can partner you guys up, and like I said before, I'm going to partner Carson up with Darby. Because Darby is our most experienced player. He's going to act as a group mentor. Jordan with Lily. Okay. And yeah. then we're going to have Jordan with Lily over here. We'll go the second cone. And then the third cone will be myself and Andrew. Okay. So why don't we get one person over here and the other on the other side. Okay. Like the video, what we want to do is when we pass in a ball, is go ahead and put our, our lead foot right on the side of the ball. We're going to step, and then we're going to fall through. Like in the video, guys, we're going to lean our body over the ball, and we're going to kick with the inside of our foot following through. This is the basic technique when it comes to passing. We're going to use this in the game going forward, going side to side, and even playing it back, okay? So our lead foot is gonna plant. We're gonna come. We always wanna lock our foot, okay? Lock our foot, don't leave it wobbly because for safety reasons, if somebody comes into the ball at the same time you do, you could either sprain your ankle, you could tear ligaments in your ankle, or you could even break your ankle. Or fall down. Or fall down like Carson mentioned, yes. Okay, so why don't we practice this? We're gonna step, our lead step, plant it to the ground, lock our foot, come with the inside of our foot, and pass, okay? So why don't we go ahead and do this? Each person will take about 10 reps passing to one another. When you guys feel comfortable, let me know. Once I see that Darby and Carson have done, Darby can go around also and look and help as a group leader while we go and take a look and make sure everybody's doing it properly, okay? So why don't we go ahead and practice? Okay, you guys, now that we've done this for about Everybody feel comfortable enough to demonstrate that they have mastered the art and the basic techniques of passing the ball. Why don't we go ahead and we'll start with Carson, start with our youngest, then we'll go to Jordan, Darby, Lily, and Andrew, okay? Carson, I want to see you step with your lead foot, come follow through, and pass it to Darby. So you want to start, you want to start on the other side too? Okay. Okay, we're gonna remember we're gonna step and fall through. Good job. Good job. High five. And Carson, where is your inside foot? Can we point it? Can you point to it? Very good. Can you guys give her a hand? Okay, next we're gonna go to Jordan. Plant. Follow through. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, Darby, why don't you go ahead and show us? Very good. Lily? Awesome. And then we'll go ahead and end with Andrew. Andrew, you want to go ahead and show me? Perfect. You guys did an awesome job. Why don't you guys give yourself a, a hand? You guys did fantastic.
Okay, you guys did a fantastic job. Now we are going to go to our second activity, which is shooting. Some of the techniques we wanted to use with shooting are very similar to the ones when passing the ball. Again, as you run up on the ball, you want to plant your foot. Most important thing is to plant. Your toes should be directed towards your target. So if you're passing to a team unit over there, you want to make sure you step, come, and pass. If you have a partner over there, you want to step, plant your foot, over the ball, pass. Very similar with shooting. With shooting, what we want to do is go ahead and plant our lead foot towards the goal, step over the ball, but this time, instead of planting and kicking with our inside foot, we are going to kick with our laces. Can you guys show me where your laces are, Carson and Lily? Okay, yeah. So what we want to do, similar to passing, is lock our foot. And why do we lock our foot? For safety reasons. Why do we do it? Because um, if you, um, like, if someone came and kicked the ball at the same time, you could fall and hurt your head. You could definitely fall and hurt your head. Lily? You might be able to twist it on accident. Very good. Twisting it. You guys can twist it. You guys could even do worse, like break your foot and then you're out. So you want to keep your foot locked at all time, your laces down, your knee over the ball. So when I come, I'm going to step, plant my foot, laces down, and kick and drive the ball, okay? Notice again the technique, you're going to step, your knee is going to be over the ball, laces down, and follow through towards your target. For right now, we're not going to have a goalie because I just want you to guys to get the basics technique involved in shooting. Once you guys have become comfortable with shooting, you can go ahead and try and put some knuckle on the ball where the ball is going to just stay stationary. It could dip. You guys can put some spin on the ball and try and curve it into an angle. These are all things that we can do once we become a little bit more intermediate or advanced. Right now, we're just going to learn the basic tools, and those are them. Planting. Laces down, follow through, knee over the ball. So what I want is each one of you to take a cone, and we're gonna go ahead and practice for a little bit, okay? We'll get about 10 shots down once you guys feel comfortable with the ball. We'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate that each one of you has mastered the technique. Alrighty, so. Okay, you guys, we've had some time to go ahead and practice. Do you guys all feel that you guys are have it under control? Are you guys able to uh, to master the demonstration, master the techniques that we've learned? Yes. Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and put it to the test? Right now, I just want to see each one of you guys use the tools and methods that we have learned to properly shoot the ball, okay? Carson, why don't you go ahead and first? Very good. Now, I'm going to put the ball down in front of you. I want to see you take a step back. So you plant your foot and then you kick, okay? Very good. Laces down. Very good. Lily? Nice. Nice. It's okay. You guys, as long as the technique is there, you guys will practice, practice, and you guys will get better. This is what it's all about. That's why we're starting from the ground up. You guys have done an awesome job so far. Can I have you guys step to the side, and we'll go see these three older boys go ahead and do it. Darby, why don't you go ahead and show us how it's done. Okay, you guys notice Darby's putting a little bit more power on the ball. As you guys get better and better, you guys will be able to put different weight on the ball. What I mean by that is weight, not how much pounds you could put into it, but how fast, how hard you're going you're gonna to shoot the ball. Basically, the harder you shoot, the harder it's going to be for the goalie to go ahead and make a save. Then you can incorporate, as you get advanced, the different tools like knuckling, like balling, like different kind of bicycle kicks you can implement with shooting to make you even better as a soccer player, okay? So Jordan, why don't you go ahead and show us. Nice. And last but not least, Andrew. Very well, very well guys. You guys have obviously practiced, put in the work, and demonstrated to me that you guys know the proper techniques in passing and shooting the ball, okay? The other things I want to talk about really quick is some of the terminology that goes along with these uh, acts of shooting and kicking. Things like inside step, planting your foot, 
kicking, shooting, saving. These are all terms that go with soccer that um, I just want to make sure that you have a clear understanding of what they mean. So what I went ahead and did, I go ahead and printed a handout um, that you guys can use both with our elementary students all the way up to our high school. I, go, I went ahead and put some simple terms like passing, kicking, volley, fouls, base, basic terminology that I know Carson will be starting soccer this year. Uh, Lily has played a year before, and then Darby is going into high school soccer. So I also included some verbs and phrases like the weight of the pass. Like we talked about is how much force you want to put on the pass. A pass, a chip, different kinds of shots that once you guys get more experience, you guys will be able to relate and use on the field, okay? So what I want to do right now is go ahead and pass out these handouts to everybody. You could just take one and pass it down. This will help you guys be able to talk the talk when it comes to the soccer field, okay? Not only will be you be able to show that you know how to kick and how to shoot the ball, but you will also be able to vocalize the terminology that you will be able to use when you're in like high school or club soccer, things like that, okay? So as we conclude this lesson, does anybody have any kind of questions um, regarding the lesson we did, any of the activities we did, or any of the drills we did? Do you guys think you guys know it? Will you guys be comfortable when you guys are on the field and, and have to shoot or kick? Well then our goal is succeed, or excuse me, our goal, we have succeeded in, in, in doing that, okay? Next time we'll go ahead and learn some different things like shooting, like our volleys, or different trick plays, dribbling, things like that. But I just want to thank you for your commitment today, and I'm glad you guys have mastered all the techniques and methods that go along with passing and shooting. Good job.